The Center for Vulnerable Populations is a research center, and that means we're devoted fundamentally to discovery and innovation, to new ideas, and to studying to figure out what is most effective. The work that CVP does is so critically important because we have, as a society, evolved into one in which we have uh, the haves and have-nots. So we decided that a Center for Vulnerable Pop Populations could be established with the goal of looking at better ways to improve the quality and safety and care that these patients receive. We have a remarkably dedicated group of staff who are just as committed to the core mission uh, of CVP as, as our faculty. I'm biased because I am a staff person, but working with the staff I feel are really a big piece of the heart of CVP. Ten years ago, almost to the day, um, I started the center as one person. Uh, I invited Kirsten Bibbins Domingo uh, to join me. She now is the director of the center. The growth of CVP has been really remarkable to me over time. When we first started 10 years ago, it was really not much more than the two of us. By doing experiments and trying to understand what things work best for this population, we could actually identify best practices. We could identify new ways of approaching and managing patients from vulnerable groups. Working with the CVP faculty and staff has been wonderful. They're all very kind. I actually have a good time when I participate in the studies. We laugh, you know, and I feel like they treat me like my opinion counts. What CVP adds is that tremendous academic spark to help us to uh, develop and prove which strategies uh, are helpful and then disseminate them locally and globally. There is concern in the community about, um, about research. And I think underrepresented minorities who in the, in the past have been discouraged to participate in research studies will actively jump forward uh, and come forward and want to participate if we show them that we care. And the, center, and the people who work in the Center for Vulnerable Populations, they know that probably more than anybody. I've been a, a volunteer for the Center of Vulnerable Populations uh, as a, a patient bringing in uh, the perspective of a patient. It's not only nice, it's great that they want patients to give feedback. The statistics that researchers offer are tremendously important, but unless they're attached to individual stories that people can understand and see, they tend to get lost. Because of their title is Center for Vulnerable Populations, I didn't realize it, that I'm part of the vulnerable population. <laughs> population and they reached me and they helped me so if they keep on doing the work that they're doing they can reach others and help others too. There are multiple contributors to health. Um, there are things that happen that individuals do that affect their health. The types of health policies, environmental policies, housing, education policies that all ultimately have an impact on an individual and their community and how they achieve health. Our faculty and staff have been tremendously effective in partnering with community-based organizations. We have Eat SF as a wonderful example of trying to eliminate food insecurity in San Francisco and, and thereby uh, reduce the prevalence uh, and incidence of type 2 diabetes. My income is just under a thousand dollars a month. Over the course of a month, uh, I don't even think that I have a dollar a day to buy food. A social worker I know uh, talked to me about EDSF. I applied for it and was accepted. SF Build is an NIH funded project that is tasked with understanding what works for whom and in what context uh, with respect to increasing the participation of underrepresented groups in biomedical research. If the biomedical research workforce is not diverse, we're not going to get the best answers. The Bigger Picture is uh, a campaign that is centered on youth voice uh, and the creation of media to counter the type 2 diabetes crisis in young people. With the Bigger Picture Project, we talk a lot about how health is often determined um, or heavily impacted by 
what's in your environment, what's around you, what you have access to. I want us to be taking on bigger projects, bigger ideas, and things that involve multiple faculty contributing their expertise. If we could harness all that together, I think that we could set and achieve a, a, a very clear goal. You know, it's been an honor to work with CVP. It's expanded the way that we see the power in our own work. They should be proud of what they're accomplishing and they should continue to work very hard to, to do even better. And I think we will, we will improve the care of patients that we really care about. What we're doing here is both unprecedented and uh, nearly impossible. And one needs to suspend disbelief in this work. And um, we're talking about taking on major social challenges. I just hope that we keep the faith and uh, keep going.